Hello, everyone. It is game day. Jason Sitter of Raptors.com coming at you. Uh, Raptors getting ready to face the Bobcats tonight. But first, let's introduce our wonderful and illustrious panel. As usual, Kat and Akil, how are you guys doing this Good morning? Good morning. Great morning. Great morning. One up and one up and two. <laughs> oh, yeah? No. <laughs> Always a great morning on a Raptors game day. Uh, but... Before we get into the matchup with the Bobcats uh, later tonight, we're going to have a little bit of a discussion first about uh, something that happened at the end of the last game. Uh, Jose Calderon, uh, well, let's let's set up the scenario here. First shot clock winding down at the end of the game. Raptors forced to take a shot. Jose Calderon throws up uh, a lob for Landry Fields, which he converts, and uh, the Sixers, the opponent on Wednesday, were none too pleased about it. So the question I put out to both of you, is that okay what the Raptors did. There seemed to be some hurt feelings on the way off the court. Jose called their own prompt to do apologize even afterwards. What do you guys think? And and it's something that our fans have been discussing, so I, I was interested to hear what you guys think. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, is your, what is your guest think, Akil? Yeah. My roommate, Cairo, Cairo. Come here. Come here. Come here. He just woke up. Listen. Did you think what uh, Jose Calderon did throwing that alley oop once the game was over against the Sixers was wrong? I didn't see it. But 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 game done. Raptors are winning. By they're winning. They're winning. Yeah, that's crazy. Do that. Okay, Cairo says yeah. you shouldn't do it. Okay, there's one. There's one. That's a that's a nay. <laughs> Akil, what do you say? I say you know what? Uh, once Jose said a pause. As I guess he took it to say, you know what, he recognizes it as being wrong. Mm -hmm. and you're going up against Doug Collins, old school coach. He doesn't play those games. And I, I can imagine that Dwayne Casey's from that same uh, mold. So, you know what, I would say even though you're forced to take a shot, take 40 for three. Yeah, the, the high percentage, uh, that, I think that was a, a big kind of focal point for a lot of people is just the high percentage nature of that play. Maybe not necessarily, uh, maybe not necessary, you know, that, at that stage of the game. Kat, what would you do? What do you think? Yeah, well, and I'm just going from the reaction on Twitter, too, and what Akil had said. Fans actually um, did appreciate the way that he reacted post-game, kind of apologizing for the way things went down. So, I mean, he followed up with that, and I, I think that's the way to do it. Interesting, but, yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, from my perspective, I think, you know, there's, there might be some, some motivation going on on the part of Doug Collins. His team has lost a few by, by double digits, so uh, this may be a way to kind of light a fire under his team. I don't think we can kind of discount that as a bit of a factor, but definitely uh, something that... The Bobcats, the Bobcats need someone to light a fire under them because they've been playing atrociously recently. Well, you know what? Uh, I, I would say that, that facing these Toronto Raptors might be... Uh, sort of the tonic for them because, uh, you know, this is a team that, you know, since the 2011-12 season has only won 25 games. Seven of those have come against the Toronto Raptors, roughly one-third of those games. The oh. Raptors have dropped seven of eight meetings against the Bobcats. Time to so buck certainly, the trend. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're certainly going to try to buck that trend tonight. Akil, uh, what, do you, what is it going to take to probably uh, get it done against these Bobcats and keep the, this home streak uh, kind of going? The Raptors, the, Raptors. Have the Raptors have to worry about themselves because this Bobcats team – they struggle to get stops. Teams are getting past the 100-point mark, and they struggle to score. They're, score. they're starting five averages, something like 55 points a game. It's 29th. Oh, he'll that be back. The internet. He'll, he'll be, be back. back. Okay. Yeah. But love that is exactly <laughs> where they got to the score. We're back. We are back. And they, <laughs> Bobcats struggle to score and struggle to the Raptors. Worry about yourself. You walk out with the W. Yeah, Raptors 7-3 uh, and three in their last 10 games when they can hold opponents to under 100 points. So hopefully that trend can continue tonight. Uh, Kat, uh, what's, uh, what's going on off the court with the Raptors right now? Well, it's Friday night, which means it's MGD guys night out. Um, a, little, a little ticket package there if you want to come out to the game with your guys. Um, some of the positives, you can hang out with the Dance Pack pregame. Um, there's an MGD thing at the Molson Brew House. It's always a good time. We do our... Uh, free game show from there too, and uh, of course the line bypass post game at Real Sports, which is important because it's always uh, crazy there mm. on the weekend. So it starts from as low as twenty six dollars a person, and you can get your tickets over at Raptors dot com. And then uh, of course we got the that Raptors, the best place to be. We've got that <laughs> Raptors Red Party remix uh, brought to you by Foot Locker happening on the twenty seventh. Uh, we're all counting down to it. It's the last Sunday. I think we've got a game like every Sunday, and then the big uh, party, party on the last one there. Uh, so. 
what it is is a chance to mix and mingle with the whole team. Um, lots of great stuff going on. It's at the ballroom, so do some bowling, kind of compete with the guys in, uh, against some stuff like that, pool, ping pong, lots of great things there. And uh, it's in support of the Team Up Foundation, so for a good cause, of course. And uh, more information on raptors.com as well. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Right. And, uh, yeah, you mentioned uh, it being an MGD Guys Night Out mm -hmm. and the Raptors Dance Pack being involved. You'll definitely want to check out the Raptors Dance Pack blog on raptors.com for a look at, at how, uh, you know, they, they offer a great kind of perspective on, on what that night is like with some videos, so you definitely want to check that out. Uh, and I also wanted to shout out uh, some people who had us out uh, for the other Dream Team screening uh, mm -hmm. yesterday. Uh, Jonas was there, Coach Casey, uh, Assistant Coach Tom Sterner, uh, Director of Sports Science Alec McKechnie, several members of the organization out last night to uh, get a special screening of the film with uh, members of the Lithuanian community. Outstanding film, outstanding crowd last night. Uh, can't recommend it enough. Uh, it will be available for da download on iTunes in Canada uh, uh, very shortly. I believe it's uh, February uh, 15th. I'm going to double check the date on that, but you're going to want to look for it on iTunes. Uh, check it out if you can. It's a fantastic documentary. Uh, and uh, that's about it for us today, I think. Uh, so, tonight's game will be on TSN. You can listen on the Fan 590, 7 p.m. Uh, on behalf of Kat and Akil, uh, have a great Friday, everyone, and we yeah. will see you Sunday morning.